Welcome again to the Hunterdon County Farm to Fork series. My name is Megan Yulebauer and I am the agricultural agent for Hunterdon County. And today we're going to be talking about asparagus. Asparagus is the most well-known member of the Asparagaceae family. It grows from and is most often planted as a perennial crown structure. Asparagus is a monocot and it is dioecious, meaning male and female flowers grow on separate plants. Female plants produce little red berries with seeds and tend to have reduced yields of spears. Male plants, and most recently male hybrid plants, produce thick robust spears that are harvested in the spring. As the season progresses, the tops of the spears of both the male and the female plants grow into ferns, which die off at the end of summer into early fall. Asparagus was first cultivated by the early Romans, Greeks, and Egyptians. It was brought to the United States by early colonists, but not extensively planted until 1850. The United States produces 200 to 25,000 acres of asparagus per year, which is valued at 70 to 100 million dollars. There has been a significant reduction, though, in acreage of asparagus production in the United States over the past 20 years due to imports from Central and South America. The top asparagus producing states in the United States currently are Michigan, California, Washington, and New Jersey. Asparagus can be a very productive plant for some gardeners in New Jersey. It grows best at a pH of 6.2 to 7 and has high potassium requirement. Thus, it should not be grown in soils that have been shown to have less than optimum potassium levels. It should be planted around now, so in May, so it has full season to grow and store nutrients in the crown. Asparagus is placed in an 8 inch deep furrows when they're planted. Interestingly, new asparagus crowns should not be planted in an old or previously established asparagus bed because it is self-allelopathic. This means that it releases toxins that will inhibit and suppress growth of new young asparagus plants or transplants and crowns. For those of you who enjoy white asparagus, simply keep young growing spears covered with soil or plastic and that will result in white spears. A newly planted asparagus crown will take five years to reach full maturity. It is important to note that asparagus should be gradually harvested for longer periods of time as it matures. So at year one, it can be harvested for one, one week, year two for 14 days, year three for about 30 days, and by year five, it can be harvested for six to seven weeks. Asparagus should be harvested with an asparagus knife or snapped at the soil line once spears reach a maximum of seven inches tall. It is a very fast grower, so it puts on approximately two inches of growth per day. After harvest, it should be put in a refrigerator and can be kept there for two weeks. Aside from being one of the country's top asparagus producing states, New Jersey and the Rutgers Cooperative Extension Program and the New Jersey Agricultural Experiment Station are home to a world-renowned asparagus breeding program. Three breeders and 45 years of work, which have included work from Lyman Skirmerhorn, Howard Ellison, and Steve Garrison, have resulted in vigorous super male varieties that are noted for resistance to two major fungal diseases, Fusarium root foot rot and crown rot, and jumbo sweet spear growing varieties. Cultivars produced from the New Jersey Agricultural Experiment Station include Jersey Supreme, Jersey Giant, and Jersey Knight. This concludes today's episode of the Hunterdon County Farm to Fork series. I hope you all visit your local, community, your local farm and enjoy some asparagus this weekend. Tune in next week to learn about the nutritional content of asparagus and how to cook with it with Sandra Grency, the Hunterdon County Hunterdon County family and community health educator. Thank you.